Hey everyone, my name's Christy. Welcome to my corner. Thank you so much for joining me today for Floss Tube 130, I think. That's a lot of that's a lot of videos. <laughs> wow. Um yeah, I haven't been on in a while. Well, I mean I haven't been on uh with a floss tube in a while because I honestly have not been doing any stitching. And I don't have any stitching history today, but I do have plans to talk about, flossmas plans. I have some purchases. I got something in the mail that I forgot to show you, although I did show it on my freebie video and I'm still decorated for my Christmas and winter freebie video. I'll post that up here if you haven't seen it. Drinking my coffee out of my favorite mugs. These were a gift. Well, not this particular one, but a set of these was a gift from my aunt 15 years ago. And they're, like I said, the only mugs I use at home to drink coffee. And so when the original one started kind of decomposing, like chipping and whatever, I just bought new ones. <laughs> I found them on eBay. They don't make them anymore. I found them on eBay and I now have a back stock just in case. So I have a ton of the mocha ones and I have one cafe in, I think I have three or four mochas and one cafe in current use. And then I think I have five more various ones in like back stock in storage for, for when they're needed. Um, yeah, so I have, oh, I hit 2000 subscribers in the past two weeks. So that is super exciting. That was, that was one of my secret goals before my birthday. My birthday's in December. It was one of my secret goals before, before my birthday and it happened and I'm super excited. So I'm going to do a giveaway at the end of this video. So, uh, you know, check back in later. Uh, so what I want to, oh, well, so welcome to my new subscribers. I'm sorry. It's, I feel like it's been ages. It's been a while. I'm really out of practice here. Uh, welcome to my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me on my crafty and artistic adventures. And welcome back to all my friends who've been with me for however long you've been with me. It's been great to get to know you in the comments here on YouTube and also on Instagram. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you can find me at Dr. Underscore Christy, which is down linked down below. Uh, I also have Patreon. So thank you for all my patrons who are supporting me. I mostly post history stuff over there with some stitching. I'm about to post a really cool article on 19th century lace makers in France and they're using their using their objects as protest and it's just a really great article that I'm going to post. So if you're interested in that, you can find me on Patreon, which is also linked down below. And I have uh, cross stitch patterns. I sell cross stitch patterns, which are in my Etsy shop, which is also down below. And that includes temperature patterns like this guy here and also medieval themed patterns like these guys here. Anyway, that's me in a nutshell. And yeah, so if you are new here and not subscribed, I'd love to have you subscribe and stick around if you're interested in cross stitch and embroidery and history and all those things. So welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. What we're going to talk about today are, like I said, plans for Flossmas, a little bit of haul, and I have to show you a thing that I got back from the magazine and the giveaway. That's the plan for today. No idea how long this video is going to be. All right, let's start with plans. Well, I guess I can keep drinking my coffee since I'm still going to be talking. Let's talk plans. Uh, I will be filming a Flossmas this year starting on December 1st. I have, I will have three advent calendars. I have my a stitchy advent calendar. Well, actually I have four, but one of them is 12 days of Christmas. I have a stitchy advent calendar from Forbidden Fiber Co., which I'm going to open with you. I haven't opened it yet. It's right here. I have a witchy advent calendar that my mom got me that came yesterday. I'm so excited. And I'll just kind of show you what it is. And then I have a perfume advent calendar that hasn't come in yet from um, Sucre Bay, which means sugar bee, um, which is an independent. I, I've gotten really into indie and small batch perfume perfumeries in the past year or so. And so uh, I have a little collection and I thought I, I decided to do a advent calendar. I don't know anything about this company's sense. This is basically the exploratory pack that I'm going to get. Yeah. And the way that Flossmas works is basically a bunch of floss tubers post a relatively short video every day in um, leading up to Christmas. 
Uh, I celebrate Christmas, so I'm calling it Flossmas. But uh, a five to ten minute video in the mornings. I'll be drinking my coffee with you before I go into work. And opening advents and showing you stitching. Uh, and I do have plans for what I will be stitching in December. And I'm really excited. So let's let's just get started. So first of all, let's start with the advent calendar from Forbidden Fiber Co. Now I love Forbidden Fiber Co.'s advent calendars. Uh, every year they are a different theme. Um, last year, I don't think I have it here. Last year was... Hold on, let me look. No, I don't see it. Last year's theme was a Christmas carol. And so I, my, my chair is so <laughs> squeaky. All I hear is like, I just hear that constantly. It's like faux leather from 20 years ago. Anyway, sorry. Okay, back to, back to what I'm talking about. Last year was a Christmas Carol themed, and my favorite Christmas music, mu movie is, and music actually is Muppets Christmas Carol. Muppets Christmas Carol, and so I made mine Muppet themed. I feel like I just saw it. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. I found it. Okay, so last year's was a Christmas Carol themed, and essentially the way it works. I need some coffee. The way it works is that there is one pattern that she designs that is broken up into 12 or 13 parts, 12 parts, I think. And on odd days, you get a gift. So on day one, you get fabric, always. Day two, on even days, you get a 12th of the pattern and the floss. So she breaks up the pattern by color. So you get the, the day to the December 2nd floss, you get all where that is in the pattern. So last year was Christmas Carol themed. And so I, <laughs> I did this. So the Ebenezer Scrooge, the outline and the lamp are the original are the original pattern. And I don't remember what it said. I think it was like, and he kept Christmas in his heart the whole year around or something like that. But I decided to do light the lamp, not the rat. <laughs> With Rizzo the rat from the movie. And I charted that. So this is, this is my version, which I need to like, I need to fully finish this. So this will be a plan to fully finish this for decorating and for Christmas, but we're not decorating yet. We don't decorate until December. So I have time, but this is last year's. Okay. So on odd days, you get a gift and that includes things like, like I said, on day one, you get fabric. Um, day three, you often get a bag, like a project bag. You get a, a needle minder at some point. You might get scissors. You might get lip balm, like all sorts of gifties, right? On the odd days. But it's only one pattern, which is good for me because I don't stitch very much as you can tell. And so having one pattern is good. And I often don't even stitch it. Two years ago was Polar Express themed. and I did not stitch it. I, I'm not a big train person. But this year is Reindeer Games, and I'm assuming it's the Claymation Rudolph themed because um, Leanne, I'm pretty sure her name is Leanne, I'm terrible with names, who is the owner of Forbidden Fiber Co., is the same generation as me. And so I tend to be really attracted to the themes that she chooses. For Thanksgiving this year, uh, not Thanksgiving, for, for Halloween this year, she chose Goonies. She had a... Uh, what's it called? Princess Bride box that I went gaga over. Anyway, so let's see what's inside our Reindeer Games box. So that's what it looks like. Let's rip it up. And it's just packed really nicely. There's a little paper I'll talk about, but... This is um, this is how it comes packed. So these are all of 
the patterns. And then these are the gifties. There's also often a baked good. I wonder if that's like a baked good. All right, so we have that. I'm gonna put this on the floor. I like being surprised, so I'm not looking at it. Um, all right, so it's the most wonderful time of the year. Welcome to your 2024 Forbidden Fiber Co. Advent Calendar. Reindeer Games. Yeah, and so it's nostalgia, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um, on December 1st, you open your first package, number one, and this is all you need to do today. So that's the fabric. December 2nd, you open package two. It will be a skein of floss and a piece of the mystery stitch along. I don't know, like I said, that I will be stitching along with this. I'm not sure. And essentially what happens is that you like get two days to stitch each color. We'll see how much time I have. Last year, my semester ended on December 2nd. So I had so much time to stitch along and keep up and blah, blah, blah. But this semester, we don't end until the 13th. Um, they pushed everything back a week and then gave us a week at Thanksgiving. And so everything's kind of pushed back, back, back. So I don't have as much time to stitch this year as I did last year. And I have other things I want to stitch, which I'll talk about. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's the, that's the deal. That's how it works. And I love them. I get a little present every other day. I get some fun floss. I love her floss. I love her fabric. So even if I don't stitch the actual project, the fabric and floss are fantastic. And I have not been buying fabric and floss basically all year. I didn't do a, an actual no buy year, but it just didn't make sense for me to buy stuff when I have a wall of floss over there and I have lots of DMCs and... So I would buy for projects, but nothing, nothing for stash. So um, getting a little bit of stash is kind of nice. The other advent calendar I got, my mom sent me, and this I was not expecting until she mentioned it. Essentially what happened was she found a perfect advent calendar for my husband, and so she bought it and then realized she had to buy her other kids' advent calendars too. So thanks, Mom and Rich. <laughs> So she got me a witchy advent calendar, um, a 12 day Yule advent calendar. So that's what she got me. Uh, now I don't know what to expect out of this. Uh, I am really into <sighs> lately, I, it, it, it kind of goes with my perfume idea. I'm really interested in like herbs and natural healing. And so this is what this looks like. This is what this looks like. And it has information about the 12 days of Yuletide, um, the different animals and herbs and colors that are associated with Yule, as well as crystals and minerals and all sorts of things. And then this is really cool. This is the magical properties of herbs and also a lunar calendar. So this is from Celeste Oddities shop. I'm assuming on Etsy. Um, Mom, if you could comment down below and let me know if that's correct, if you got it off of Etsy. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. I, I don't know where I am in my spiritual journey with this. Uh, it's sort of amorphous in, in, my, in my mind, right? Uh, I celebrate Christmas culturally, but I'm not a Christian. Um, nothing against Christians. I just don't believe. And yeah, so I'm not quite sure where I am. So I'm, I'm excited to see what what this is, what this is all about and see what I can learn. That's my, that's my goal for this. So that's exciting. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to open this. The first 12 days and I'm pretty sure that my perfume advent is also a 12 day and so I may open that the second 12 days and then I have a 12 days of Christmas from Forbidden Fiber Co which I haven't gotten yet which is the Hobbit themed which is going to be from Christmas to um, Epiphany which is December 6th I mean January 6th I believe so that's that so that is those are my advent calendars Let's talk stitching plans, okay? 
there are three things that I can show you. There are four things I want to stitch on, three things I can show you. The first is a model stitch I've been working on for like three months that I just like cannot push through for some reason. So I need to, I have to rechart some of it. Um, it is a medieval marginalia, so it's it's a slightly weird dude, well, lady actually, from the from a medieval manuscript. I need to work on that and get that released, but I need to finish that. Um, I need to get back on track with my ink circles round robin. So this is Stitchy Nati's pattern. She is doing the Elemental Dragon's Fire. I've had it for months now and have not done anything with it. So I need to work on that. I have to send out um, Whitney, who is not on YouTube, but is on Instagram. I need to send her pattern to um, Rachel Ray. <laughs> I gotta get that. And then um, I will have Rachel Ray's come to me at some point. Um, yes. So this is a priority because I need to get this done. I'm so far behind on this with everything that's been happening. I'm so far behind in this. So I need to get this done and sent out. I ordered Lola Crow. She is doing a, and I don't have a picture for you because I didn't think that far ahead, uh, but she is doing a like, Yule monster, like not monsters, but like Yule cryptid, but it's not cryptids. 12, I think 12 of them or nine of them. They're ornaments. It's a mystery stitch along. Maybe four of them. I don't know. The first one is Krampus, as you knew it would be, because if you're talking about the um, holiday monsters, Krampus is very on point this year holiday like the bad guys the bad guys of of, of the bad guys of the winter season <laughs> the punishers of the winter season um Krampus is kind of like the main one but there are going to be more and I'm excited I just that just dropped yesterday so spoiler alert sorry no I mean it dropped for everybody so that's that but then the big one that's going to have a hashtag is let me get it out let me get it out this is the one i mentioned before i am going to really focus on my cosmic egg hashtag hildegard for the holidays so those of you who are new have never seen this because i haven't touched this in a very long time those of you who've been with me for a while know her well because this is the second one that I've stitched. So here's a little needle minder of what she is going to look like. And if you get on my Instagram and scroll back a bit, you will also see what the first one looked like from, goodness, three years ago maybe. So Hildegard for the holidays. Uh, it's mixed media. It's it's paint and beads and stitching. This is and this is freehand embroidery, not cross stitch. And so this is all I've stitched so far is this little center here. This is painted. And if you want to know more about this, this is an uh, an illustration, a painting from a medieval manuscript by a woman named Hildegard of Bingen, uh, who was a nun in the 12th century. I did a video about this piece. I'll post that up here, and. Hildegard for the holidays. I want to get as much done on this as I possibly can because I would love to have her off my whip list because I love her so much. So I have all of the flosses from my first time around here. And I may need to buy more, but I will do that if I have to. So Hildegard for the holidays. So those of you who have been wondering about her but didn't want to ask because you know how stressed out I've been, I'm bringing her out for December. So I'm gonna work on her a little every day. I'm gonna work on my ink circles a little every day. And then if I have time, I will work on the uh, Lola Crow mystery stitch along a little every day. That's my plan and more on weekends because if I could get her done by the holidays, that would be amazing. And I might start working on her next next week, uh, Thanksgiving week. So for American Thanksgiving, I get a week off. And I have other things I have to do because I volunteered. 
I volunteered. It's fun though. I volunteered to help with the Christmas float for my university. We have a Christmas parade in town. And so we're doing a float. So I volunteered to help with the float. And that'll take time because that's on the second or third. Third? Whatever the Tuesday is of December, the first Tuesday of December. But Hildegard for the holidays. Get ready. I'm excited. So Hildegard for the holidays. And that, those are my plans. Also in my floss mess, I will have a freebie Christmas pattern because I found so many more that did not fit in that video. That video could have been hours long and I just did not have that kind of energy to edit that, honestly. And then, yeah, and that's it. So it'll be short video every day, open up Advent, show you my stitching, give you a freebie. That kind of thing. All right, now I only have one. Oh, before I show you my haul, I wanna show you what came back in the mail to me. So exciting. Um, this is the most recent uh, cr Just Cross Stitch Magazine Christmas, and I'm in it, friends, I am in it. Now I need to find myself though. Hold on, I did not mark myself. I found me. Look, it's me, I did that. So that's me, I'm very excited, but you don't have to look at it in photo form because I have it here. It even still has the tag on it from the magazine. So this is Snowflake Serenity. And I showed this on my, on my freebie video, but I wanted to show you all too because I know not everybody cares about freebies and so may not have watched that, but here is my Snowflake Serenity, and uh, I'll tell the story again, but this is based on an embroidery that I, a couple of embroideries that I did several years ago that I had sold at craft fairs or whatever. And the hills and the trees are very reminiscent of that. But um, this reminds me of when I was designing the originals of these. Uh, what it brought to mind was uh, going and finding Christmas trees in my grandparents' sort of back 40 woods. They were always scraggly trees, really, like, really branchy, for which is good for ornaments, of course, but not perfect. And um, it was just really nice. And so we would go up there, we'd pick a tree, and we'd go up in the tractor, we'd pick a tree, we'd cut it down, bring it back, decorate it, all those kinds of things. So um, I've lost both of those grandparents this year, and... So this is sort of fitting that, that this came out now. So this is Snowflake Serenity. And all of these snowflakes are in the various uh, things. So you'll find these exact snowflakes down here and also the poinsettia, which I didn't want to put up there. But everything else is all up there. So I hope if you are stitching this, please tag me. I would love to see it. And then I'll release this as an individual pattern when I can, which I still have not checked when that is. So, but this, I just wanted to show you, I realized I never showed my floss tube folks that this, that this came back to me. So that came back. All right. And then the only haul I have is, I don't know what I was thinking, <laughs> but I decided that I wanted little frames. And so I bought a bunch of Christmas kits. And so there are a bunch of little Christmas cross stitch kits in here. We have bells and it has all the floss, but I really wanted the frames. Bells, sorry about the crinkling. Bells, a wreath that has stuff in it. I got these off of eBay. A tree in a tree frame. Another wreath. A bell with a Santa. Bell with Santa. Wreath. A star and a gift. Oh, and a fireplace. Star with a fireplace. Star with a fireplace. Tree. Oh, tree with a reindeer. So it has that. And then the last one is like the grumpiest Santa I've ever seen. He's giving those kids a side eye. <laughs> I might stitch him up. He's so like not jolly. <laughs> and I feel like 
I feel like they tried to make him jolly. It was not effective. Anyway, so I got those just, I don't know. I got it in my head that I wanted these little frames. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I'm probably going to make ornaments out of them or something like that. Um, yeah, so that is all of the stitchy content, I believe. Uh, I did promise a giveaway. So I have 2,000 subscribers, WTF. Like, how did that happen? Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, I am going to, I'm terrible about mailing things out. So we're going to do a, a virtual, a virtual prize. So I am going to give out any pattern, any digital cross stitch pattern or embroidery pattern if you want one um, in my shop. So if you are interested in any of my patterns and you have not gotten them yet, or if you have gotten them, uh, I can give you a refund. So that's easy to do. Uh, if you're interested in a pattern, um, just put huzzah, H-U-Z-Z-A-H, in the description, in the comments below, huzzah, and I will do a comment picker in my next floss tube video, which I think will be in two weeks, and uh, and I'll pick two winners, because it's 2,000 subscribers. So if you're interested in that, uh, please, you know, don't say giveaway and free and stuff like that, because I don't want lots of people who don't stitch to win. Um, there's no monetary value. I'm going to email you a PDF. Uh, so if you win, I will contact you or I will announce it in the video and then you can contact me with your email address and I will just email it over. Um, and that is any, any pattern. So there are a couple that are like one cross stitch pattern for you and one for a friend. That's not what I'm offering. I'm offering a pattern, but it does include the solar system uh, date marker. Uh, if that's interesting, if that's interesting to you, so, and it includes any of my temperature patterns, any of my um, medieval marginalia patterns, any of my patterns. Two of them. Huzzah in the comments down below. Yeah. And with that, uh, I do have a life update. It's been like a month since I've get, talked about anything. If anyone's interested in listening to how my life's been going, um, things have been pretty good. Oh, and if you're not interested, I accept that. <laughs> I'm not super exciting. But uh, so thanks for watching. And um, if you want to win, put that huzzah down below. But those who stay, thank you. And um, yeah, uh, uh, work has been a lot. I'm very behind in my grading. Um, I'm a history professor at a small university in um, rural Mississippi in the United States. And um, since last time I saw you, we elected Trump, which I'm really concerned about <laughs> uh, for personal and national reasons. Um, I won't get into the national reasons that that's all over the news, but for personal reasons, He's uh, threatening the Department of Education, right? And um, in education. And so that makes me nervous because I don't know what's going to happen with that. Um, so my husband and I are postponing some trips because we need, we don't, we don't want to spend the money when we don't know what's going to happen with my job in a year. So that's concerning. I am trying to keep positive. There's nothing I can do about it. You know, like, uh, and worrying isn't going to do anything. So we're making plans and we have plans and that's what we can do. And so I'm not a worrier in general. <laughs> uh, I don't find that it is helpful for me to be a worrier. I'm a planner. So I have plans A through Z, right? A through Z. I don't actually, probably A through C. But still, I have lots of different plans, contingency plans, and that's what I can do. And so I work on what I can do. So that the election has been stressful. But then last weekend, on a happy note, last weekend, I went to a bachelorette weekend for my friend, Melissa. And it was a book themed book and reading themed bachelorette weekend. Uh, and it was local. So I didn't stay over. I it was a sleepover, but I did not sleep over. I came home um, the mornings they spent reading quietly because it's reading themed and they're all super into books. And most of them met at a book club. So uh, I had things to do. <laughs> I don't have time to spend two whole mornings reading. I just don't have time. So I did, came back and did other things. And, um, but we had fun activities. I did, we did some, a ceramic painting at a local ceramic place. 
We did karaoke. We went out for Mexican food. We played silly, those silly bride games. I made a, a bridal gown out of toilet paper, which we lost because the construction was terrible. It was really bad. Um, what else happened? So that was very fun. We did crafts. You know, I love me some crafts. We did some crafts. And mostly it's just been work, honestly. I've been so, I've been really busy at work trying to catch up um, with advising. Uh, we are, because we're such a small university, we're very hands-on in advising. And so I've been meeting with internship liaisons at different organizations. I've been having meetings. I've been, all my advising takes like an hour. We have some new students coming in in the spring, which is awesome. So that's been taking, you know, getting them onboarded has been, has been a lot. Yeah, it, it's just been, work's been busy, good busy, but like, and not like stressful busy, just a lot of stuff that needs to get done that takes time. Yeah. So that's where I am. Next weekend is my craft fair. I'm excited. I have I'm looking at an array of crafts that are in various stages of completion over here. There are some things that worked, some things that didn't work, but um, I'm hoping that people like my stuff and buy it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, I collect, I don't have any available up on hand, but I collect um, vintage wooden uh, spools and other sewing paraphernalia. So I have lots of I, I do bottle brush trees, but I have new things. I have pens now and wine stoppers. I have ornaments out of spools, like all sorts of things, uh, jewelry out of spools. So that is what I'm doing next week and next Saturday is selling those things, I hope. And I thought I was going to have another arts, another sort of art and craft fair at the beginning of December, but I am not. They are not ho hosting it this year, which is too bad because I made a lot of money at that. But the nice thing about the one next weekend is that it's local. It's in my town. It costs $15 to vend. It's at our local farmer's market. Um, and yeah, so I'm really hopeful. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Um, and I'll post a video. Sorry, I, I'm sort of thinking about, I knew I was going to say something. I'll post a video next Friday of the stuff I'm taking to the market. That's my plan. So um, you will see that next Friday. If you're interested in seeing what I'm taking, I really love all the stuff, but I have to take pictures of it. Oh no, I'll just show you. I'll just show you. I'll just lay it out and show you, but I do have to take pictures of it. So, and then anything I don't sell, I may reopen my spoolery Etsy shop. I'll have to see. I'll have to see if it's worth it. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll have to get my husband to mail everything out because I'm so bad about mailing things out. <laughs> so, all right. I think that's all I have to say. So that's all I have to say. Uh, it's been great to catch up with you all. Thank you for visiting with me. Thank you for subscribing for all my new subscribers. And thank you for not unsubscribing to my friends who've been with me. I appreciate you sticking around. I have videos that I'm going to post in the next few weeks that aren't cross stitch related. They're sort of crafty related and sewing related. So I don't know. I just have things I want to do and I want to show them to you basically. It's kind of how it works. So yeah, I'll see you around. I'll post my next floss tube in two weeks, which is the uh, Black Friday. I'll post Black Friday, my, my next video or the Saturday after Thanksgiving, depending on what kind of time I have. And I will see you. Oh, and then next week I'll post. I'm sorry. I'm battling now. I'm going to go. I sound like my mother. <laughs> this is what she says at the end of her videos. She just starts like rambling and then like can't stop. I'm stopping. I'll talk to you in my next video. You'll see when it pops up. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Please take good care of yourselves and have a good one. Bye.